Hi, this is Akmir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here at Vox Markets for Tuesday the 11th of October and not looking great on the FTSE 100 which is where we normally start. Here you can see that we've broken back below that uh, 69.60 support line there. It looks like the overall pattern since, well over the last two, three weeks has been old support becoming new resistance to the old support from July to uh, June to July now becoming uh, October, September. Uh, resistance and uh, especially below 6960 there's a chance of a retest of the uh, 6800 area which is where we started October so uh, rather disappointing there RSI around uh, 35 so a bit more uh, gas in the tank for the bears uh, that also suggests that we roll over and uh, retest the 6800 area worst case scenario at the moment uh, obviously there are many bad scenarios that you can have but uh, a test of that uh, March support line there uh, from the old March low currently running at 66.60 so below 69.60 the chance of 66.60 moving on to the stocks and uh, starting off with Duke Mount uh, where the uh, Phoenix seems to have risen from the ashes we had that uh, plunge down to um, what 0 0.03 something like that uh, a very very low level RSI went down towards the 10 area at that time rather like uh, the RSI we had uh, back in uh, April uh, that was followed by a rally back towards the uh, 0.2 area here we've had our rally uh, ba basically also up towards the 200 day moving average area 0.15 in this case in that case it was slightly higher than that but uh, now down to uh, rally towards the 200 day line really want to see that broken if we can get that broken over the next uh, few days then maybe uh, Duke Mount can head into back into the low 20s, which is that uh, February resistance line projection. Otherwise, uh, basically, uh, we've got the old support there around um, 0.11, and ideally the shares close above 0.11 today and then make progress. Um, otherwise, it could be back down towards uh, a retest of the lows again. Looking at this closely, though, we had a gap, unfilled gap to the upside today, so that does suggest that uh, we have a bottom in place. Uh, the shorts or the bears are caught on the hop and uh, that can be the start of a reasonable rally uh, if you look at various other bulletin board hero situations uh, unfilled gaps off the low tend to be strong signals moving along to uh, another stock which has been on the back foot of late but uh, trying to revive itself uh, had a duke mountain type dive there uh, last month for eve sleep higher low now in place so uh, Point, uh, point 0.4 the uh, the level and above that could be a support line taking us back up towards the 50-day moving average area around 0.8 uh, as we have done all the way down basically the 50-day line has been the uh, area to rally up to and we might get that even if the shares then fall back again after that stock which has been uh, rather hurt by geopolitical activities uh, is uh, Eurasia it's worth looking at it again now here you can see it's bumping along the bottom when it's uh, around the four and a half pence area. We had that low last month. We've done basically the same again this month. So just interesting to see whether four and a half pence holds and gives us a rally back up to six, seven, eight, as we've had periodically uh, since the summer. On to a stock which uh, has, uh, I think, had some news today, which was uh, re well, well received. Here we've got uh, Echo Energy. And the sign here, we've got an unfilled gap to the upside through the 50-day moving average. It's the first time we've been above the blue 50-day line since early May. We've seen that in quite a few situations, uh, so that is a positive. End of day close above the 50-day line at 0.25 could take us up to 0.34, maybe over the next four to six weeks. Uh, it's good that we've had uh, basically this uh, second gap higher after the first one we had back in August. So it looks as though there's a turnaround there for uh, Echo. And as I said, uh, especially while we're above the 50-day uh, line, around 0.25. Moving along to another stock which has had an RNS today, uh, Edenville, and uh, some uh, signs uh, amongst uh, followers that uh, this could be a reasonable announcement. Um, we've had a gap through the 50-day line, just as we've had with Echo. And uh, as I said, that can be the start of something positive, a positive phase. Also higher support here versus the, the June support, 10 and a quarter. Uh, that might have some meaning as well. Ideally, we close above the 50-day moving average at 11, three, 11 and three quarters today, and ideally, we don't fill uh, that gap, or we don't go below that uh, gap floor at 11 and a quarter. 
we remain above those two levels, then it's up to the uh, 200 day line at 17. And maybe the best case scenario would be up to 20 pence by the end of next month. Uh, if there is proper follow through, uh, that was uh, post May resistance for the shares. Uh, Evgen, uh, what's interesting here is that we had our big day yesterday and we actually made a, a new high initially today. We broke the high of uh, yesterday at 7.1 pence. What will be key now is that we hold above the uh, old uh, January initial 2022 resistance around 5.4 pence. If we can do that on an end of day close basis, there's still the chance of further upside, especially after that $160 million uh, contract uh, or deal announced uh, yesterday. Best case scenario at the moment up to 10 or 11 pence while we remain above 5.4 pence. Might still get there if we go below 5.4, but uh, ideally we head straight there by way of 5.4 or better. There's uh, normally uh, an RNS on a daily basis with Kavango, which uh, might put some people off, but uh, we can see that uh, there's been a turnaround here. Good support uh, so far this week above the 50 day moving average, which is starting to rise at one and three quarter pence. Uh, it's the first proper break of the 50 day line once again since uh, early May, and that could be significant. The target here, the top of that uh, broadening triangle from July, as high as two and a half pence, while we remain above the 50 day line at one and three quarters. So, uh, a reasonable setup there at Cabango. Uh, not too many stocks today uh, to shout about, uh, even though uh, the leaderboard is looking better than it has for a while. Uh, we've got um, Quadrise Fuels, which has got a Cavango type setup as well. Maybe it's a day, day or two ahead of Cavango, in fact. So we had uh, the uh, push through the 50-day line uh, back earlier at the start of this month. 50-day uh, line now at 1.3 and above that, we're looking for 2 pence at the top of the uh, uh, June uh, broadening triangle on the daily chart and uh, reasonable progress here over the start of the week to date. Uh, stock which I don't normally look at but um, looks as though there is something positive going on here is uh, Sanderson Design. Uh, here we see that uh, there's been a bit of a consolidation either side of the 50-day moving average. Uh, we haven't we've tended to fail at the 50-day line if we look back at uh, the story of the year so far but if we are in a rising trend channel uh, we could get up to £1.20 uh, the trigger for that bit would be an end of day close above 103, which has been uh, the resistance over the last month or so for the shares. But just looking a little bit more positive there at Sarnison for a move up towards 120 and obviously the best case scenario up to the uh, 200 day line at uh, 137 by the end of next month. But uh, that may be pushing it. Stop loss on that uh, back below 94 pence and the, that uh, sort of September uptrend line. Finishing off with uh, Touchstone, uh, which has um, made some progress over the recent past. In this case, uh, progress above both the 50 and 200 day moving averages, the 200 day line at 83 pence. Above that, on an end of day close basis, we are looking for the top of that rising trend channel from March as high as £1.25, maybe as soon as the end of next month, although I suppose that would be a reasonable end of year target for Touchstone if it was. Uh, or if we get further momentum from current levels. RSI above 50, MACD indicator by cross as well. So uh, tentatively confident that we could get a new leg to the upside there. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.